Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. Um, and today we're doing the weekly guidance. I missed, uh, I think like a couple of weeks because it's just been kind of crazy lately, but um, today we're back at it. What do you need to know this week? Just some guidance, predictions for the week ahead. Um, so here are the four options and I'll show you each one. This is group number one, the Black Tourmaline Pendulum. This is group number two, the Smoky Quartz Point or Tower. I just put Smoky Quartz in the uh, options. This is group number three, the Tiger's Eye Star. And this is group number four, the Pyrite Little Palm Stone. I just put Pyrite in the option. Okay, so again we have here group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four, and you can pause if you need to, um, and whenever you are ready I will see you at your reading. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number one, which is the uh, black tourmaline pendulum. So let's take a look into the guidance you need for this week. Spirit, this reading is for group number one, please, Black Tourmaline, our pendulum group, please and thank you. Spirit, do you have a starting message for group number one? Just anything, especially uh, with regard to guidance for the week. Group number one, what do they need to hear? What do they need to know this week? Thank you. Four of Pentacles. Spirit, what do they need to know this week? So this is pretty interesting. The message that's strong and it immediately came through. Now it's, of course, it's going to resonate a little differently depending on your situation and where you are in your path. But the message that's coming through is something having to do with you being stuck. So I'm not sure if you're going to feel stuck this week or you already feel stuck and you have felt stuck for a while. Um, but we do have two cards that are confirming this stuckness. It could be feeling slowed down. It could be feeling like you're stuck in your place mentally. It even could be physically, um, you know, obviously in multiple ways as well. But as you can see by the third card, we have the judgment card. It looks as though you're going to be receiving some direct guidance. Um, kind of like a way out in a lot of ways like for for a lot of you at least i'm not quite sure what this judgment card is going to bring yet but it's it just seems to me like there could be some sort of divine interference intervention or at least guidance uh when it comes to you being or feeling stuck can we please have a little bit more information what do they need to know this week please thank you Got the letter G for some of you, probably not many of you, but I, I still got it. Yeah, okay. So this is emphasizing divine alignment and timing. So basically, whatever you have been going through or you will be going through this week, just please remember that this is all part of their plan for you, meaning your guides, your angels, divine, everything, everyone. And you can see here that the wheels are turning and in fact it's not actually stuck but it does appear that way or it was meant to appear that way at least for now and again the 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 really it's it's not a matter of things going wrong or you know you doing something wrong it's just that this was meant to be this way so i, I guess maybe an example is kind of like something that wasn't supposed to happen until a certain timing because that's when um things would make sense the most that's when they would be the most prosperous that's when uh you or even other people were ready to receive it there's all kinds of mysterious reasons for th the timing of things and this is spirit's way of reminding you that this was part of your process okay so please try not to you know kind of get caught up in all of the negative feelings that this can come with, such as frustration, disappointment, you know, everything. Um, even if you've been feeling it for a while, if you've been feeling stuck for a while, again, they're, they're kind of saying, please just trust us. This is going to get unstuck and you're going to understand exactly why this had to happen. It's, if anything, they're kind of crafting this so that it's 
ending up in your favor, I would say. Um, can you please give us a little more information? What do they need to know this week? Group one, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so this lover's card is showing us the open energy, balance, the very loving and warm energy. It feels safe, okay? Um, now, I don't think that this exactly has to do with your love life. For some of you, obviously, it could be. But whatever area of your life this is talking about, um, you can see here that it is kind of transitioning into balance and into this loving, uh, balanced energy. And again, we do see the angel in the sky. I just really think that there's a heavy influence here, particularly with your guardian angel or your main spirit guide, especially for some of you that you're thinking of a family member that, that also could be involved here. Okay, what else do they need to know, please? Thank you. For just this week. Yeah, they're, they're saying that, especially towards the end of the week, you may be feeling quite happy about some of the opportunities and choices that this is going to come with. You're going to be feeling more confident in your ability to choose things or to kind of foresee the close future in some way. Maybe it just gave you a little bit of hopefulness, energy. Um, you're definitely not going to be feeling frustrated, even if the entire situation is still... Um, not quite resolved yet. I, I feel like it it could be. It's really scattered, the answer that I'm getting here. But some of you, it something could be resolved with more immediate um, timing. But others of you, it's going to take a little bit more time. But you're okay with that. So here you're actually kind of viewing the upcoming possibilities and opportunities for your situation. So maybe there's it could be something with work or it, well, really it could be something with any area of your life. But what you're doing is you're looking at all of the possibilities the opportunities with a healthy sense of positivity, optimism, confidence. Um, you know, you're going to be feeling really good about your ability to step forward in your path and, and even embark upon some new journey as well for some of you. Okay, anything else that they need to know for just this week? Okay, the tower. Um, well, the way that it fell, it kind of feels like it's shaking up the stuckness. Is there anything about the tower that we do need to know? It could even be just a realization. I do think it's a realization, actually, especially with the way that you're feeling about it. Um, just feeling more confident, but more feeling, I, I would say feeling empowered. Um, similar to the Nine of Pentacles, it's almost like you're realizing your own power. And that can be shocking for a lot of people or, you know, kind of jarring if you weren't expecting it, if you didn't think you had it in you. I think that this um, is talking about that. And it also could be adding to your feelings of self-love and self-worthiness. Anything else in the outer world about this week that they need to know? So they're not really specifying the outer world here, but they are showing the energy that will be surrounding it. So um, again, if anything in your outer world is also stuck, you at least can have an idea of why. Sorry for that. Um, and yeah, like in terms of your inner energy, it's going to affect the opportunities, um, you know, in a very close way. Because uh, if your energy shifts, then you're going to have a different, pers like a different attitude perspective to kind of tackle a lot of things. Um, anything else that they need to know for this week? Any guidance? This one might be short and sweet for you guys, which, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I'm getting. Anything else? Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say, really. So we have here the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords. So this could come this, could come this week, yes, as you can see from just this energy. Um, but this also might be sort of inching into the, the next week or the cusp of the two weeks um, of the end of this and the beginning of next week. Because of this Ace of Wands here, um, I do feel with this Ace of Wands, there has to be a clarity of some type of energy. So again, if you're still struggling with some of this leftover energy, it might take a little more time. But I do think for the most part, you guys are going to be experiencing this burst of new fresh energy it's excited it's passionate there's motivation here there again there's clarity here there's a lot of clarity of thought there's a lot of um, clarity as well of 
like the outside three-dimensional obstacles even though that is going to take I think a little bit longer but what's important to note is your own inner the mental clarity the spiritual clarity so here you know just again feeling very excited for something um, this is not even necessarily a new idea it also could be I mean it could be a new idea but I feel like for some of you it's going to be the reinvention of a previous idea an, an existing idea that you've already had and again just feeling really uh, capable and confident empowered for this so let's just get a final advice message for you guys or anything any final advice guidance message for group one please and thank you okay this is really look at that wow so it was the ace of pentacles and there was the five of cups so i just saw this and i'm like thinking oh that's really good it's going to come through but the advice though so we have the five of cups the advice is really be careful about this feeling of want lack or longing because this energy as you can see is heavy it can really um sort of like push things away in a lot of ways where if we embody this this negative shadowy energy it can it can put us in a lower vibration so just do your best um, to release this energy if it starts to come through to make sure that you keep the energy moving within yourself you know lots of cleansing of your energy grounding um, protection of course as always and um, this energy should be coming in nice and bright if not directly in this week it's it's coming very very soon okay so yeah, um, that's that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Uh, really, really direct, straight to the point reading. Which, um, not that you're not that people choose by just the numbers, but I like when I've been reading for group number one for a while. It seems like it's always this sort of like longer more um, indirect message so that's why i was a little surprised by this but anyway um i hope that this was helpful i hope it resonated if it did you can subscribe and if you guys want a personal reading my info is below uh thank you once again and i will see you next time okay take care bye, -bye. hey guys uh, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number two which is the smoky quartz or the point smoky quartz pointer tower spirit this reading is for group two please thank you what do they need to know this week please and thank you okay uh spirit for group number two can we please have a starting message what do they need to know this week guidance anything helpful for them to navigate this week ahead These are probably the only readings of mine that are not necessarily timeless. All like if you're new to the channel, I think pretty much every other reading is uh, timeless unless I mention something else in the title. Spirit, what do they need to know this week? Okay, so we had the Three of Cups face us. We have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Um, okay, so I feel like this week is going to be the perfect week to try to seek some type of support. Because I feel like there could be something, I don't really feel it's only internal i think that you might be kind of going through some obstacle this week whether it's at work or home or wherever um, maybe even financial for some of you some of you i don't know if it has to do with health as well but i kind of feel like um for this particular week it's going to be a little bit of a struggle more than uh, usual in terms of you trying to do it alone i feel like there has been something that you have been trying to deal with by yourself and you have been succeeding i feel but i think that just for whatever reason this week spirit is asking you to extend your hand towards others or your energy towards others so that you can be reminded that you are supported that you do have people who care um you know <clears throat> even if for some of you you're actually just connecting to your guides more because that's i feel equally important um and yeah because here you can see with the two of swords it kind of just looks like someone in the equation is feeling closed off maybe even pushing some energy away um and this is not really something maybe you would normally do but the page of wands it kind of feels like maybe it's just it's almost like the inner child energy where literally feeling um 
like a child, like, uh, you know, like maybe just not seeing the full bigger picture for some reason. And again, if this, you know what I'm kind of feeling, I feel like for you guys in group two, this might not even immediately resonate with you. <laughs> like I'm feeling like this weird energy. Um, if this does not immediately resonate, just give it a couple of days and start to see if you need to um, have some support. Just ask yourself, like, is you know, am, am I trying to tackle everything by myself? This could come in by even just Tuesday. I'm feeling it's very close. Um, or the, the end of today, if you're watching this when I'm posting it. So yeah, you might need to just check in and do a little bit of reflection and say, am I uh, trying to solve every problem on my own? Can I reach out to others? And um, would they support me? And I think a lot of those is yes, you know. Um, what else do they need to know? What do they need to know this week? Group two. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. I feel like because you're so powerful in your energy and you're very bright in your energy, this is a radiant energy that a lot of people flock to. This could make things difficult for you sometimes because there's a lot of burden and responsibility that comes with that. You know, there's obligations, there's things you have to take care of in your life for others, whether, you know, that's something of a fact or it's just a perception so we sometimes it kind of overlaps right so i think spirit is asking you to make this a little bit of a reflection week and just to sort of evaluate or reevaluate some of your things on your list your to-do list your obligations um i think the reason that this is happening for you is one because we're we're coming towards the end the ending point of this whole year and this this year has been a year of rebuilding in a lot of ways and also again reevaluation in a lot of ways they're asking you to change your perspective and to change your mind about what you think you need to do or what you think is necessary in terms of energy in your life so i think they're trying to do this to make your life easier for one but it's also because you need to rest. Spirit is really calling you out here. I'm sorry, but you know, that's what they're doing. Um, they're asking you to begin to simplify and reduce this burden because it is time for you to begin to rest. So if there, if you're watching and, and you have been thinking about taking some time off, like a mini vacation or some so anything like that, just any kind of break that is actually doable in your particular life, uh, spirit is is kind of like well what are you waiting for like you've got to just you have to do this it's it's long overdue and um, <clears throat> you know you've worked hard enough uh, a, a human being is not expected to work all the time and I'm not talking about just work slash job and career and and and, and family I'm talking about all of it the mind body spirit we, we're not expected to be on all the time and to be you know putting in these these efforts and everything 24 seven, it's not possible. So the basic principle that I feel like everyone can live by is just balance, you know, we need the balance. Um, so that is a big thing here. I feel like spirit is just ha giving you this intervention and it was unexpected to me. I, I didn't think that I was gonna see this at all. But because we're here and I accidentally missed, I think the last couple weeks of the weekly guidance, here we are. And Spirit is like, I, I've been wanting to tell you this. So just watch out for any kind of nudges from your guides, from yourself, your intuition, your higher self, everything. And it's going to be pointing to that. It might be uncomfortable to think about slowing down or asking for help or putting down some of these wands. It might feel very uncomfortable, but that is why Spirit is asking you to do it, to pay attention to that. What else do they need to know just for this week, please? Our group two, Smoky Quartz. Okay, um, interesting, right? So we have the Lovers and we have the Tower. Um, if this is adding to our previous message, it is just showing that uh, there is some kind of internal, or maybe not even internal, but there's like this transformation, this intense, unexpected, sudden energy that is making some kind of severe changes and shifts. Now, I just mentioned balance, and the lover's card can mean balance, so I just thought that was an interesting way to... Uh, come through but can you tell us what is the actual message that they need for this these two cards here okay so we have the knight of cups yeah it kind of feels like it actually to me feels like you're being redirected 
that's what I'm feeling from this card. I don't normally say that with the Knight of Cups at all, but just what I'm feeling from your energy. Yeah, um, you are being redirected. They're, they're trying to do it gently and kindly, but sometimes if you have the tower, there's really no way to do that. Um, so what is the best advice for this in terms of their redirect, getting redirected? You may have watched the video I had recently of uh, Are You on the Right Path? I think I did three different ones. You might want to check that out. I'll try to link it below if I remember. Um, we have the King of Cups and then anything else. What do they need to know? There could be really there there could be something hidden within you, within your emotions that you have not quite allowed to come to the surface. Um, and that to me, it might signify that the emotions are uncomfortable, or it could be even some sort of hidden truth or hidden thing within you that you haven't really wanted to face. Now that is a whole reading in itself. That's a lot of things. Um, but this is what spirit is kind of just bringing to the surface right now. And I think I, I think it's safe to say that if you if you face this part of yourself now, it's actually going to be the best timing for you because it'll only get easier after you face this or after you look at your own inner waters. It's it's not going to get harder. It's actually going to get harder the more you push it away. Um, so it might be a good time to look at yourself, your inner truths, your inner emotions, and see if there's something that you have been pushing away. And a lot of you, maybe uh, you were pushing it away because... Um, I, or rather, you were using some <clears throat> of that other energy in order to push it away. So, for example, you know, you were piling on work and obligations and helping others and doing, doing, doing instead of looking inward because it was easier to maybe kind of not face that thing. Um, it could be an emotion. It could be a memory. It could be, you know, it could be so many different things, which we're not we can't really get into because I feel like I just can't. Um, in this reading there there could be other readings that could be helpful here but spirit is just planting that seed to say we have to begin to look at this because it's time and because it ultimately will release you it'll free you that's really the point because remember you had this energy and this is not the energy of someone who is freed in the inner level this is someone obviously there's like some type of burden and even um, it could feel like a prison at times you know depending so this is really you know, so there's there's a lot of messages coming through here. Um, sorry if it's a little much, um, but for some reason, all of this is kind of coming through this week. So uh, I think it's probably a good thing if you're watching this in the beginning and then at least you can be a little bit prepared because I know it's just, it's tough to deal with either way. But if you do come across these energies, these emotions this week, just please know that there's a good reason for it. Um, Spirit is ultimately trying to help you to get past this. Um, so is there any final advice of how they can deal with this energy? Again, your outer world is going to reflect this. You might be um, kind of like pushed left and right uh, in your outer world. People asking you things, um, you know, your work or home life is just really demanding so much of you. But interestingly, that is actually, that may be a reflection of your own inner stuff your own inner energies might be kind of creating and manifesting some of that outer stuff okay um again uh this first card was just reminding you that one you don't have to actually save the entire world and do all that stuff that people think you have to do but two it's also okay to ask for the help if you need to do those things if it's legit something that you need to do um it's okay to ask for help and to kind of shave off some of that to-do list and um and to in your mind make that make that agreement with yourself that um that you don't have to bear that entire burden it basically yeah that's what they're saying any final messages anything else we need to know what do they need to know this week please that's really weird that this card came out because i said prison and i thought of this and here it is so yeah um I think there's actually some good news about this card is that it's actually more mental than it is anything else. I know that sounds like it's not the case, um, but remember, you guys are powerful manifestors, and if you begin to think all of the things that are true, it does begin to show itself in the in the outer world, and it's, it's really wild and tricky how 
that is possible but i think you guys know it is possible so try to not think of yourselves as trapped or a prisoner or a whatever um, and try to begin to release those thoughts and you will see a huge difference in your outer world okay um so again, it might require that uh, you have to begin to face something in time. You don't have to do this immediately. Um, I don't know, again, there could be some other pick of cards that uh, could be helpful for you. Maybe something with regard to your soul, your... Uh, if you see any ones that have to do with the subconscious, that's also a good one. I'll, I'll try to link some of mine below that I, I think might be helpful um, for you guys. Okay, any, any other final advice for them for this week? What do they need to know this week? Okay, a lot more here so finally we have the king of pentacles the five of cups uh judgment did that just pop out and then the page of pentacles there's a lot of hope there's a lot of potential there's a lot of positivity still this is healing if you have been sick with a cold you're going to feel better soon they said that's so random um or like it's just something of your immune system. They said something about your immune system kind of improving, which is really nice if you haven't been feeling well. Um, this can still come through. This can still come through even this week. Some of you, you're going to feel better by Thursday, they said, but that obviously depends on how you're feeling. Um, and yeah, this is the King of Pentacles. This is probably your energy where maybe you've been closing yourself off to really the real feeling of you, which is in your heart space more. Um, and then we have the the judgment card yeah so um again the bottom line is you i feel like spirit saying you must reconnect to your spirituality your guides your angels yourself um kind of get back to it because the the focus may have been on the outer world which is very natural for us to do that because that's it's in our face every day and we can't you know, it, it's a lot to deal with. And we sometimes kind of forget about everything else because it's just so pressing or it seems so. But yeah, come back to the more of your spiritual awareness. Try to open your heart to receive comfort from the universe and all of your guides and everything. And I feel that you are, I, I think you are going to be comforted or feel comforted and feel loved again on a very spiritual level, an inner level um, this week as well. Okay. So it's a lot, right? Group two, I, I didn't think it would be so much. I didn't think it would be such a heavy message. Uh, but I do hope that it was helpful, even if it didn't resonate at first. I, if you kept watching, then you probably would have seen it. It resonated more and more later. But anyway, um, thank you guys. Um, I do hope things get better for your situation and for you. If you'd like a personal reading, my info is always below. Okay, so thank you once again, and I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number three, which is the Tiger's Eye Star. So let's take a look here. Spirit, this reading is for group three, please. What do they need to know this week? Please and thank you for group three, our Tiger's Eye Star. Okay, Spirit, what is your first message? Hold on a second. Spirit, what is your first message, please, for group number three, the Tigers I Star group? What do they need to know this week? Thank you. Okay, wow. That's interesting. Um, I I consider the these two cards. The moving on cards and you got both of them <laughs> okay so that's like to me that's a it's a huge confirmation but just the way that that happened kind of it, it made me uh do a double take there i'm still kind of um uh kind of a little stunned at how powerful that energy was so group three i'm about to get into it um <laughs> um with the judgment card i feel like this for many of you like a good 80 percent of you I feel like you're going to have a direct message from a powerful spirit guide. And weirdly, the other two groups before you guys also got a similar thing, but not in this way. But they did get the judgment card. So I kind of feel like for whatever reason, this week is going to be a powerful week of gui of receiving guidance from our actual guides and angels and, you know, everything. Um, for you, yeah, it's going to be a very powerful sort of a, a signal 
maybe like a go signal or you know whatever um, there is a chance that many of you already know what this is about Sh just as an example if you have already been thinking about walking away from something or whatever it was you're gonna do it um, or you're gonna feel inclined to do it you're going to understand how to do it there's gonna be this clearer path in front of you now for the rest of you you may not have even realized anything about this and that's why you're gonna have an even more direct signal from the universe from your guides from whoever from spirit uh, in terms of what is best for you to do um, <clears throat> but yeah from what it seems like to me you're moving on from something you're what you're releasing something walking away from something I'm trying not to say or someone because obviously that could be the case it, only you will know what this is um, but both cards are just so strong in how you are walking away from the previous chapter of your life or you will be very soon and starting and you will be starting something new now unless I get the full card you know it'll be hard to say exactly when that will begin but even if you walk away and you're kind of drifting for a little bit that's actually okay that's going to fit well with your whole path ahead and your whole idea for yourself even I don't think you're going to feel panicky or anxious because maybe if that's just something you're used to or you figured you would I don't feel that you will I, I think that you're going to be very calm you know very you can even see the tranquil waters here and it's just going to feel right to you um, even if you don't like to just drift and aim and uh, aimlessly and you don't like to wander around I think that you're going to let yourself or you're just going to know on some level that it's okay to do this okay so yeah um, this is yeah it's, it's a very freeing feeling here I wish I kind of knew what was going on but it's it's a good feeling spirit what else do they need to know um for group number three, what else do we need to know, please? So we have the Five of Swords, we have the Knight of Wands, kind of a similar message. You can see, again, this has to do with some sort of movement. Here, it is it is showing that something is closing up a cycle where it was quite temporary, especially if you had some kind of conflict, if you had some sort of battle, argument, whatever it was, just something wasn't really working. It's, it's going to come to an end because this was meant to be temporary. And then you can see you're sort of just picking up where you left off and you're just moving forward, really not even questioning it. Maybe you were more involved with it and distracted by it as you were in it but at, after a certain point you're just going to be like no this this doesn't matter i'm going to move on from this spirit what else do they need to know this week please group three So again, there's going to be quite a bit of clarity coming from your end. We have here the Queen of Swords, and I actually saw you talking about something. I'm not really sure what yet. Um, Queen of Swords, now we have Four of Swords, then we have Two of Swords, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So again, I feel that there is going to be a little bit of a lag time for something to happen. But this was big, you know, this was a big shift for you or a big decision for you. And then what's happening after that is just the need to sort of like um, regroup or whatever. And I think a lot of that has to do with you uh, talking about things, sorting things out mentally, trying to almost declutter and just take a moment. You know, you're here, you're paused. Okay, so there's there's inaction here. Then this is just like, no, let's sit down for a second. Let's talk about this. And this is just slowing things down. This is what it's meant to be right now after a shift like this. So this was a lot of motion. And then I, I did say, you know, it's not going to happen right away, some after effects. But again, that's for a very good reason. I think group one got a message like that where it was really just delicate divine timing. You guys, I feel a similar thing. I actually think it's a collective energy because this year has really been such a rebalancing restructuring year for sure okay what else do they need to know please for this week yeah a lot of discussion if your plans for your life and and whatever has to do with even other people let's say there, there has to be some discussion at some point 
um, I mean, if it's just with yourself and by yourself, it, it won't be the same, um, but you could certainly be talking about it a lot, your plans and stuff. Spirit, what else do they need to know, please, for group three? What do they need to know this week? Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so we have Knight of Swords. You're getting... You have three knights and two movement cards, yeah. So we have knight of swords, we have ace of pentacles, look at that, together, <laughs> okay. And then you have the nine of pentacles, really nice, and then you have the seven of swords. Okay, so this is one of the rare occasions where I actually feel like the seven of swords is not talking about deception and illusion. Um, one of the other meanings that I learned about this has to do with taking strategic steps. I feel like this is a strategic exit too, even though you've already kind of exited something. Um, now, as you can see, once the slowed energy is done with, and once you know where to go, you're going to go. I mean, look at this, right? Knight of Swords. You are directly aiming yourself at some type of a new prosperous beginning. Remember before I said I, some, I wanted something like the Fool card? This is a new beginning card. It's an ace, right? So... Um, it's, so, like I said, it is going to take a little bit of time for you, but once you know what that is, <clears throat> you're going to go straight for it. I wonder why they're giving you all of this information in just one week reading. Obviously, this might take a little more time, but you never know. Maybe you do come up with these answers very quickly. Maybe it just feels longer to you in this little area here. So, yeah, this and all this also depends on when you are walking away. So maybe you've already done this. The timing, of course, can vary. But um, it this could still happen within the span of just this week. We I don't really, I don't really know. That's what I'm trying to channel anyway. But don't worry about the when because this this little piece of time here needs to occur. This energy needs to occur. Just have that patience, and you know you will have this part at the end, which is the decision the motivation, the direction, and, um, you know, you're going straight towards some really significant prosperity here. I don't see any reason why you will not achieve this. I feel like it's just a matter of, you know, continuing forward, um, having confidence within your plan, and, you know, just trying to follow your inner process as you get to these outer goals. So, yeah, I don't see any issues here. Um, and then, like I said, with this, I think that it's actually encouraging you to take a little bit more of uh, some strategic steps so that you don't get ahead of yourself or so that you don't feel like you have to rush. The truth is, is you don't have to rush anything. Um, if something is meant for you, it'll, it'll come to you. Everything is divinely timed. The only thing that Spirit asks of you is just that you do your best. You know, you don't have to be perfect or anything it's just a matter of doing your best and doing things with that earnest intention that loving intention okay so anything else that we need to know uh group three what do they need to know this week please and thank you all the readings have been so interesting for this week i don't know if it's like the planetary stuff going on i think we had an eclipse recently i don't know what that means but anything else what do they need to know this week final messages If you guys like the idea of being a little bit strategic and kind of just focusing more on day to day, I think it would be really great to get yourself like a planner or a little, you know, something that you can kind of just uh, log your thoughts on a regular basis, you know, put the date, the time and, and just kind of slow down your thought process. It feels great to do that. And it does help us to organize our thoughts. I felt that over here kind of feels similar to if we're organizing our closets and stuff and we just need a little bit of that visual you know, like labeling things and, you know, it, it's helpful, I think, especially for the energy that you happen to be in now. So we also have the Page of Wands. We have the Fool. Ha, there it goes. Okay, the Fool. We have the Six of Wands. Wow. And then the Three of Cups. Really amazing energy here. Okay, so you guys are headed towards such success. The number three could be significant. So obviously, we're extending a little bit outside of this week i feel like maybe spirit might have been indulging you there if you wanted to know more of longer term here it is they're saying you know give yourself 
ample time or reasonable time even. It's not going to take too long for you. It's just going to take a reasonable time. And you will start to see the new beginning, the new chapter of your life, the success that's coming with that. And you're even celebrating here. There even could be someone that you're celebrating with, could be friends, could be people in your life that you're working with, you know, whatever the case is, if if it happens that other people are involved with your your path. But yeah, so that it's so funny that the fool made an appearance. Um can we have any final message or advice please for group 3? Thank you. But yeah, a really positive reading, just so encouraging. All you really need is patience, I think, and that's it. Which is not, you know, <laughs> the people some people have a problem with that, but it's it's possible for all of us. Final message please. Okay, so final message we have, wow, look at this. Check this out. You have the two tens, ten of pentacles, ten of swords. So the ten of swords is indicating the ending of some kind of a painful cycle. Um, the fact that you got two tens in a row, I mean, I think that tends to happen with signs as we, we get a lot of repeating numbers. So your final message is ten ten. I don't know what you can take from that, but I thought it was interesting. But yeah, this is um, the ending. This is... Uh, like basically the conclusion is stability you have that success you have um security and then here you know it, it can go either way like um is the painful cycle coming to an end are you facilitating the ending of that by walking away from what doesn't serve you are the questions and are you open to manifesting something much brighter for your life so i, I guess this is also just some reflective questions for you guys um, either way, I, I would take this as a good sign because ten again tens um, something coming to an ending, the ending of a chapter, and we're beginning new. Okay, so really, really interesting reading. I do hope that this was helpful. Um, I hope everything works out in your favor. Thank you guys so much. Um, if it was helpful, you can subscribe, and if you want a personal reading with me, the info is below. Okay, so thank you once again, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number four. So let's see. Uh, spirit for group number four, our pyrite group. Can you let us know um, what do they need to know this week? Please and thank you for group four. Okay, so spirit for group number four, can you please let us know a, a starting message? What do they need to know this week? Just any helpful guidance for this week. Group four, group four, pyrite. Okay. <clears throat> so we have the nine of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the star, the wheel of fortune. Seven of Wands, the Tower. I don't really know where the Tower wants to be in this whole thing. So with the three powerful Major Arcana cards right here, I'm just going to start there. Um, this is definitely in line with the messages I got throughout the whole video for every uh, one of the groups. And just generally what I feel in the collective, right? Because obviously we are all connected. Um, I do think that this is a very powerful time of transformation and divine alignment. So uh, just as an example, group one got this message about uh, feeling completely stuck for a while, but it really was truly because of something divinely timed and aligned, or that it is aligning currently. Um, yeah, so I think that uh, I, I truly don't know if we're going to get the answers that we're individually seeking by this year. Because I feel like that's what we've been leading up to is getting some sort of either answers or some kind of um, balance, you know, because it's, it's been hard. It, it really has been uh, for, I think, almost like almost everybody that I've been, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, here we are. And I think that with the star card, this is a card of a lot of hope. OK, this is hope. This is faith. Um, even through the struggles and transformation and like this constant, constant um, sort of uphill battle for a lot of us, I feel like there's still this hopefulness. So if that is you, if you still have hope, if you still have faith and trust within the whole path, that's a wonderful thing because we could easily get completely just um, 
you know, tempted to just give up and everything. But I, I also think if you don't have that perspective, you're still being watched over and protected in that way. It's almost like your guides are intervening, which was another message I kept getting, uh, divine intervention. Your guides are intervening and saying, don't give up. We're almost there. Just hang in there because you have your little bird there, I feel is trying to give you some type of nudge. And then your guides over here as well. Now, over here with the Nine and the Eight of Pentacles, I still think that you are working really hard on your goals, on yourself, on your vision. You have another bird here, okay? I don't know what's going on with the bird, but yeah, there's there's two of them here, and then I was drawn to that bird-looking thing as well, or guide. Um, there is something that you're working hard on, and I don't know if it's sometimes something that distracts you from your spiritual path or or what it is, but... I think it's both. I think you're working hard on both. So it's like your three-dimensional path and your spiritual path, even if it's more just something in, uh, within yourself. Seven of Wands, I do again feel this feeling of someone who's not giving up, whether it's you, whether it's your guides, whether it's just like your whole destiny that's trying to lead you in a certain direction. So for this week, I, I feel like it's just going to be like... I feel like it's going to be almost business as usual because there is something that's happening on a deeper, more powerful level that it's not ready to just pop out yet, but it will. Um, you might not feel a, a huge difference in your outer world, um, but it's coming soon, though. Um, let me see if there is anything that you need to know about. Uh, what else do they need to know this week? Just anything within or outside um, 3D, Group 4. What else do they need to know, please? Thank you. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and then the Five of Wands. So yeah, it, it kind of feels like this week might be a little bit of a fluctuating energy for you. You know, there could be some days where you feel really, really good, capable, ready to go. But then other days, it, it could be like this trip up where you're just like, why isn't anything working? You know, so if that if that does happen, that is, again, just part of this process. Please do not think that you're doing anything wrong or that things are going wrong. This is just a very unstable energy, I think, for the collective right now. If if you guys know anything more about this whole collective energy, the energy forecast, please let us know, okay? Um, I know we just had the a lot of planetary stuff happening, and maybe that's why... Um, you know, I feel like it's always part of the reason why. But anyway just keep doing what you're doing you're doing a good job just remember to stay hopeful remember to stay um, connected also and if something does go in a negative way just remember that it's most likely going to be temporary especially if there's arguments hassles things that just aren't going completely right that sort of a thing spirit what else do they need to know just for this week please So yeah, we have the Chariot, Queen of Swords, and then the Moon. That's a really interesting confirmation here because they're saying, yeah, just, just keep going. Do your best to make the decisions that you feel intuitively you need to make. Um, you're trying to have the clarity, but it's really, I will say, it's almost impossible to have clarity right now in a general sense because there's moon energy that is kind of overshadowing everything this does not mean bad energy this just means that the nature of the energy right now at least for what i'm seeing for you guys um maybe it's different for others but the energy of what i'm seeing right now is that it's meant to be a bit uncertain and i do feel it's because it has to do with how things are building in your life in your particular destined path um, there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of things that we're still really kind of just swimming through the dark waters or the dim waters, but eventually, you know, eventually there will be that clarity and it'll also make you feel more at ease because obviously if we can see clearly we feel a bit better. So for right now, if you feel kind of uncertain, if you feel even anxious, whatever, depending, um, like I said, this is going to, this is not going to be a forever thing. So just do your best to have clarity, at least in ways that you can, maybe just for small things that you're doing, um, you know, just doing your best to keep a clear head about you and you'll, you know, it eventually it will shift. Anything else? Any final messages for group number four? What do they need to know this week? 
So Temperance, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, I'm not sure if it was trying to reverse itself. This tried to come out, you see, this is the Four of Cups, I don't know that with these cards, but um, it kind of just looks to me like there is this want for some sort of peace, especially if this resonates, um, for some of you it's the word reconciliation, there is the want for that. I. I think it's coming from you um, for the most part, even if that's not something you normally <clears throat> might think about or even want or think that you want, I should say. But there is a desire for that in your energy. So whether this is a reconciliation with yourself or with even the idea of someone else or the idea of a situation, uh, Spirit is asking you to come to some sort of peace and um, you know resolve uh, resolution within your own heart. And... Yeah, to come to terms with something, to really forgive a situation or or even a person, like I said, whatever whatever it is that you end up doing, the, the key or the goal is to feel peaceful because I'm really feeling that here with the temperance card. This is going to be very important for your path and even for your clarity. So this, this is a step in your spiritual path that I feel does not want to be neglected. So, you know, maybe think about it. Just con sort of consider what you think that this can mean to you, even if it doesn't make a lot of sense now, or even if you have already made your decision, you've already made up your mind. Spirit is just asking you to look at that again. Can we have any other uh, final advice or message, please? Thank you for group four. Okay, so your final message. We have here the Page of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and then Knight of Cups. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really getting anything new here. It's just more confirmation that some type of clarity from particularly an illusion in your life or some kind of thing that didn't fit. There was a puzzle piece that, or is even, a puzzle piece in your life that doesn't fit quite well. And I think you're going to have a full exposure of that soon. I don't know if it's going to happen this week, though, because for some reason my readings tend to kind of step outside of the bounds of the, the week. Um, but yeah, you're going to have that knowledge very, very soon. Uh, maybe within the next two weeks, maybe something like that. Um, but yeah, you're going to have, they said something about the word expo like exposure. You're going to have a full exposure to whatever puzzle piece does not fit into your life. So if this message, you're just like thinking, wow, I wonder what it could be. Just, you know, um, be open to receiving that because it will come through. But you don't have to think about it. You don't have to overthink it. It'll just happen naturally. In fact, if you try to think about it, it'll probably be a little bit more of a struggle. But it, it's happening it'll it'll you just have to go with the flow this week especially okay so group four i feel like that's it for you guys's reading that's all i'm feeling um kind of a little confusing actually but i do hope that it was clear to you guys since you're you know in the situation but yeah let me know i do hope that it was helpful thank you guys as always and um if it did resonate feel free to subscribe and if you want a personal reading with me my info is below okay so thank you once more and i will see you next time take care Bye bye